my name is Harry Holzer. I'm a professor of public policy at Georgetown University uh, and an institute fellow uh, at the Urban Institute in Washington, D.C. Uh, welcome to Spark Action's Family Economics Success page. Causes of child poverty really are um, whatever causes their parents to have low incomes, which is usually uh, very poor earnings prospects, uh, poor education and skill levels, uh, and often single parents. Not always, but often. Uh, there's a big difference between families that are temporarily poor. Uh, they might dip below the poverty line for a year or two uh, because the parent loses a job uh, or maybe there's a divorce or something like that, but then they bounce back. Uh, there's other families where the poverty is much more persistent uh, and that's much more serious and has much more negative effects on the kids. Although, of course, even, even short-term poverty for a year or two can, can do some long-term damage to the kids as well. The mechanisms by which such poverty affects the kids are many. Um, and they do involve nutrition, poor nutrition. They do involve poor health care. Uh, there's a lot of studies indicating that uh, the difference in health care opens up very early between rich kids and poor kids, uh, and then it widens over time. Uh, and and, and these, these narrow gaps among kids widen, and then you have very large gaps uh, in health outcomes for these folks as adults. So once kids are in this environment, with poor parents uh, and in poor schools and neighborhoods. There's many mechanisms by which, and, and, and of course the kids themselves often get really weak educations. Uh, they're much more likely to drop out of high school. Uh, if, they, if they finish high school, it's often with poor skills. Their chances of getting post-secondary are, are very limited. Uh, and then their labor market experiences are gonna be really weak. They themselves are gonna have low employment rates, uh, poor earnings, low wages, et cetera. The numbers for last year, for 2008, are going to come out this August. Uh, those are only going to be really the tip of the iceberg because it was only only in the last, even though the, the economy was in recession all year, uh, it still things started to dramatically deteriorate uh, really only in the last quarter. Uh, really the numbers for 2009, 2010 will also be very important. So I think we need to keep our eye on those every year as they come out. Uh, uh, we, of course, can't even wait for those numbers. I think we have to anticipate that they're going to be bad. Uh, and start planning in the meantime of, of how to cushion these kids from the impacts of the recession in the short term uh, and, and then longer term policy to, to lower their poverty rates. Thank you for visiting Spark Action. Uh, feel free to visit again in the future to find out additional ways where you can become involved in efforts to reduce poverty and its impact on kids.